what's going on? We're here on Deep South Campbell. We're going to take you all the way north, as far as we can go north, until we're out of Springfield. We just entered the city limits. Yep. So we are, so back behind us is Nixa. Mm -hmm. So we're headed north. And we're gonna go check this out. So there is Plainview, which come and go is right here off Plainview. And there's some nice houses that way. There's some nice houses that way. Pretty much anything south of Springfield is it's usually really nice a, real estate. Yeah. I remember whenever come and go first came in, and I think there was well, I mean that Eagle Stop has always been there, but I think they had to remodel the Eagle Stop just to compete with the new come and go. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Isn't most of the schools around here too Kickapoo? Like that way is Kickapoo schools? Ow. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is all Kickapoo. Yeah. South. Um, I think it's whenever you go east uh, or yeah, east of uh, that, way. that way. Or north of James River, which is 60 Highway. I think you get into Glendale. East, east of National or Glenstone? Glenstone. Gotcha. It would be that. That's when you get into Glendale. Yeah. Everything south and west is going to be Kickapoo High Schools. Yeah. But I think one of the most highly rated schools is just over there on Plainview. What is that? Uh, Wanda Gray? One of the highest. And then McBride is not too far from there. That we have the dive adventures place. I think you can actually yes. get like scuba uh, diving. Yeah, uh, certified or something. Fine. Which is cool. But also, like, we're in Missouri. We're not, not a lot like, of places to do that. I know. Yeah. I guess you could scuba dive in a lake, but. Well, there is a cave under around cave that you can scuba dive in. That would be what? scary. Uh, you remember that video that we did? Oh. With all this, this yeah, but it's not around here, is it? It's not too far. It's in Missouri. Yeah. Um, up here on the left, where the silo is and all the gravel. They're actually, they have a big plan to put in like luxurious um, apartments and houses and everything. It's kind of crazy. I'll believe it when I see it. Cause yeah. that gravel pile has been there for a long time. We were just talking about that the other day, Jesse. We're just like, this thing has been here forever. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. They want to put like luxury <laughs> we'll see. stuff in there. Yeah. Um, the library center. So we have two libraries in Springfield, one on the north side on North Kansas one on South Campbell here and then there's some real estate for sale on the right some <laughs> land if you guys need to buy some land for a place you know who to call some fireworks Andy's. um Sam's is over here on the west side Academy you have neighborhood market Zaxby's Freddy's and then you have Andy's over here. No matter where you're at in Springfield, though, you're close to an Andy's. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter where you are. I think there's like seven or eight of them. For some reason, I just never come to this Casey's. You don't really. Do you prefer Casey's over other gas I, I typically pump up at my local Costco. Yeah. You know, since we have, have Costco. Costco. Oh, we're going underneath James River freeway which is technically 60. We call it James River. Yeah. A lot of people have a lot of names for it. They, when we were on Battlefield we were talking about West Bypass having so many names. Yeah. yeah. So I heard through the grapevine, don't quote me on this okay, but that village inn might be a Chick-fil-A one day. What? Yeah. Stop it. Right oh wait now. shout out to my Mr. Car Wash. Oh my my <laughs> unsolicited uh, sponsor who I want Wait, let's go back. Let's hey, go back. we so this is Campbell. This yes. movie theater used to be Campbell 16. Yes. Now it's the Alamo. Faith, sell people on Alamo in 10 seconds. Alamo is amazing. Uh, I actually have another video. <laughs> I am not. I'm not doing this well. <laughs> well, what's cool is whenever movie they party. bought the building, they had to keep the horses. They could not get rid of that. What is really? that? Honestly, mural. Mural? It adds yeah. to it anyway. Jesse can't say the word mural. Movie party. I said mural. Mural. Uh, mural. Themed uh, de decor and queso, all there. Uh, and then uh, Miranda loves the, the pretzels. Um, they got some pineapple whip. They're not open yes. yet. Not yet. 
seasonal, yeah. but you gotta get it. It's so good. South Campbell is really known for all the car dealerships. Yes. There's car dealerships up and down this road. It's ridiculous. That's very true. There's a lot of shopping here. Tropical smoothie. That's not shopping. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of food. Jesse okay. doesn't know what shopping is. <laughs> Weekends. I mean, is that actually here. just moved in. There's a furniture place. There's an at-home store. Furniture place where they literally just sell on the weekends. So this um, bridge that's coming up, there's a couple of them over Springfield, but that's some of the... Um, I think oh. this one reaches all the way over into Kansas Expressway almost. But it comes from, I think, like over a national. You can actually walk this whole way. Um, but Wait. there's a couple around Springfield that are like this. I am so confused. The trail up there. She's talking about the trail, not the bridge stretching. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's part of a trail. Interesting. I was like, that is only over one road. It <laughs> is. I was confused. This bridge reaches all. <laughs> but I knew, no. I knew what you were no, saying. No, no, it's a part of a trail. You can follow it along. The car dealership. At car home, dealership. used to be Kmart. A lot of Kmart. All right, yeah. a lot of Kmart. This big shopping center here. City Butcher. That's the they have Itty Bitty about. City. It's the cutest yeah. place to take your kids. We don't even have kids, but I've taken kids there. It's fun. I would love one day to go see it. So here in a row, you have Mercedes, Small. Chevy, Kia, Honda. Nissan, Honda, everything. least right now they're very understaffed and there's a lot of demand for it everybody loves it so they just don't they're not doing super well right now which is kind of sad i think covid you'd have people lined up out there for like an hour waiting for their food holy cow for real 100 percent. i mean that's doesn't, it's doesn't good, said he but... did he did that one time and he was like, it was like a funeral in there. Everybody's just standing what? and waiting for their food. It's gotten a lot better, but yeah, man, it was tough. I felt bad for them for a time. Hudson Hawk started here yes. in Springfield. They got a couple locations. Go get your hair cut. Another Walmart down the street. This is actually yes. pretty big Walmart. 444, I think is what it is. This was the one that used to be part of the mall strip, right? What? No. That used well, to be Gordman's. It? It the... But it was connected to it. <clears throat> now you're thinking of the North Town Mall. They're off North Glenstone? No. I think there was somehow. There was at some, some point there was something was connected. There. What? Yeah. Way back. Oh. No, it's not the North Town Mall. That's that the U Haul place. Interesting. It's a big old U Haul. Acura. Mitchum Tire, they have a north location and a south location. You guys ever heard of Burger King? There's one right there. <laughs> we got CVS, Walgreens. So this is a major intersection, Battlefield and Campbell. We actually drove down Battlefield. Check out the link right up here. That was, Battlefield's a good road, good road. He says that because our office is off battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Scooters, we could actually get some coffee. Uh, it is an insane. Um, incredible pizza. Didn't it start in Springfield? Mm -hmm. Now it's all franchised around. Yeah, I don't think there's like a million locations, but they do have connections. Why did you say? And good Mexican old Mexican Bella. Bella. Listen. People want to fight because they say that Mexican Villa is not authentic Mexican. I don't think it's authentic Mexican, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah. I like it because it's its own thing. Thing. Yeah. Another it definitely is. Some people really do hate it, but um, <coughs> honestly, I went, I enjoyed it. So I think people can. I think it's just like you can't expect authentic. Right. Yeah. Because it definitely does not. Do taste people good. even know? what true authentic Mexican Ooh, food. Not. If they like grew up in Springfield, do they really know? Anyway. 
<laughs> we have so many good Mexican places though. Yeah, we do. They're so good. Like Mexican Little? What is that gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? It might. It's too big. Uh, yeah, it's, it's too big. There's a lot of a lot of food and a lot of weird The first part of Campbell is all the like, car dealerships and like the food and Bass Pro. Yeah. And then it gets to like downtown area. Where most of the real estate is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're rolling up on Bass Pro territory. It's kind of crazy how like influential Bass Pro is. It's definitely a. Right, how many people were you saying it brought in? Oh yeah. my gosh, with their big like fishing fishing fair. fair. Yeah. How many people were they predicting? I didn't hear like final. They were predicting seven hundred fifty thousand. That's a lot of people. They had this whole road shut down. Yeah. All right. On the it's left everywhere. side is Bass Pro. It's the largest Bass Pro in the whole world. The grandfather of Bass Pro. Granddaddy. Wonders of Wildlife was actually owned by the city, and then. Um, Johnny Morris bought it and it took him 13 years to finish it. Well, here's the thing. It was like finished, but then it was like redone. Yeah. Because you used to be able to go to it. So Sunshine is another major road. We actually recorded a video of that. Check out the link above. Talked about the chicken strip. Yeah. So now we're going north of Sunshine where a lot more real estate is and not so commercialized. The place where we go and make the glass ornaments at Christmas time is over here. Oh really? really? Yeah. Next to the purple burrito? I mean it's down a little bit, but that's not that high degree. I think you guys made the purple burrito. I've always wanted to go. I've done once. It was a long time ago. And it was on the north the national division. it's the little small. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that looks like I showed that lot. house the other day. What? <laughs> it, look, it kind of looks like a sand castle. Wait, the orange one? Yep. Wow. Parkview High School. It's right here. It's know. one of the Springfield high schools. Yeah. My mom so went to Parkview. We won't say when she graduated. <laughs> She's young. And there's a there's a building right here, kind of an old ancient building, where like the city kind of took over, and they actually run, um, what I hear, they run like fire and. So they used to, but now it's a business. I oh. Think. I take everything back. They used to do like fire practice things. <laughs> there is a giant cemetery. cemetery running along here, and doesn't it? It's big. Yeah, it it's is. It is really cool though. I've heard a lot of people say that they enjoy walking cemeteries, like yeah. just going for a walk. It's like a very, really? they say it's very like peaceful. Yeah. Hey, have have you done that. it? Have you done it? I mean, it's not like you're walking it at night or anything. Yeah. So it's good to take pictures in there. Walmart neighborhood market used to be a church, but they, it used to be Life 360. Remember that? No, I don't remember yeah? that. Yeah. And then they, they took it down and built mm -hmm. Walmart. How long ago was that? Oh man, five years? Mm -hmm. I used to drive Grand to Missouri State. Yeah, Missouri State's right down Grand. Grand is another kind of major street, but not really at the same time. Is it big just because of Missouri State? Probably so, I would say. I Now that I'm like, not in school anymore, I don't really ever drive it as much, but mm -hmm. yeah. Grand all goes all the way down to 65 Highway, but doesn't go across 65. It, mm -hmm. it dead ends. And oh, it goes all the way down. We're there. about to start the one way. Yeah, so Campbell, you have to be careful because Campbell at Grand basically turns into a one way street. Yes. So that can be tricky sometimes if you're trying to navigate like downtown. Yeah, Cam weird. Campbell actually runs straight down the middle of downtown. Well, slightly to the left, but that's fine. 
when it comes to real estate around here, obviously we're close to the college, but I yeah. feel like a lot of it is like student housing. Yeah, and but it's <laughs> it's a little bit of the lower income side of town. Yeah. As you get kind of down into the downtown, you start to see there's some cool houses like historic. Yeah. But I would say Campbell is probably as far west as you would want to buy a house in Springfield. So anything east of Campbell. Unless you're south of Springfield. Yeah, I'm That's talking south. about Yeah, you yeah. have to be careful when you're driving up here. Because these things they put in the middle of the road will get you. Oh my god. I'm they traumatized. So well, if you weren't texting and driving, you I probably hit one one hit time. One. Yeah, I know, Not this one, it was it slow traffic now. Metro Credit Union, shout out. We actually bank there. Get your cars right. Yep. We get our car loans through there. Yep. So now we're like officially downtown. Yes. You're gonna hit a mural right here. Right on the left. What is this on the right? It's like an open... It says Inner Circle Vodka Bar. Interesting. Not a place that we hang out, but there is a lot of like <laughs> yard games and stuff over there. I mean, a lot of people might be fun. interested in that, too. <clears throat> so straight to the right here, down McDaniel, is the square. Mm -hmm. Or golf. I take that back. Hollywood right here. down here, Park Central, <laughs> is the square. <laughs> we actually have several movie theaters in Springfield. Yeah, we do. Hollywood is one of them. Yeah. Passing then Hollywood. all of these, so like... The Brick City buildings are all like Missouri State buildings, which is kind of cool because I really? feel like they used to be really like run down, but now they look really like cool and industrial. I love it when people go here and they, or even if it's companies and stuff, go here and they like restore some of these old buildings yes. and stuff. Like now it feels cool, but it used to be like, oh wow, this is happening. <laughs> yeah. So here on the left, we're pulling up on, it's the, yeah, the HQ. Springfield off, office, post office. HQ stands for headquarters. It is of Springfield. I don't know how to word it to make it sound official, but this is the place. It's like the main post office. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Now we're almost to Chestnut, and if you take a right, you'll be at OTC, which mm -hmm. is like our community college of Springfield. Yeah. So Jesse went there. I went there for a couple of years before Missouri State. Faith, did you go there? Mm -hmm. I actually oh, really liked it. So but you guys both went to OTC. OTC. Yeah, we're so the Bush Building and all like the City Hall and everything is right there on Chestnut. It's a cool courthouse is right next to it. But as you go across Chestnut right here, um, you start to go into more of Midtown, and we're gonna go through all of that. And once you get past Commercial Street, um, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Bail bonds. Yeah, and there's a there's lot of other places. I'm like, too. whoa, I've never seen that before. Yeah, we're definitely in the historic <laughs> district of Midtown. Historic or hood? Would you say this is hood? Um, no, not right here. I mean, we're, we're literally like two blocks from the jail. Yeah. People I like know. how that's your de defense, but we're not in the hood. We're two blocks from the jail. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was like, mm. I mean, once we get to division here, we'll be in the hood. Yeah. Well, we're about to hit, uh, Assemblies of God. God yep. Orders. All of this is massive. Is Assemblies of God. Yep. It's crazy. How many employees do they have? Uh, like 1,300? Or is it like five digits? I don't know. That's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> so this is the vision. And we'll eventually drive this, right? Yeah. Yeah. If we drove it, the link will be right above. Right here. Just click it after we're done we'll think about it yeah <laughs> so this is still all um assemblies of god yeah yeah cox north is right down here division mm -hmm. um 
I've been there once. It's where I got my stitches on my thumb when I was younger. I was trying to open up a package of scissors with oh a pocket my knife. Gosh. And for some reason I was like, Whoosh. if only you had scissors instead of a pocket knife to open it with. By the way, Campbell ends right here. But since we're right here, we might as well show a little bit of Commercial Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should. There was a Convoy of Hope building over there. Convoy of Hope is another thing that is headquartered here in Springfield. Out towards Republic. Mm -hmm. Is there another a new building? Nonprofit. They do a lot of good things. So this is, we're pulling up on the historic district of Commercial Street. Commercial the... Street is neat because it used to be like kind of run down, but there's actually a lot of really good like restaurants. There's some shopping, Pizza House. We love Pizza House. Best pizza place ever. Yep, coffee places. All right, that guy moves us. Kind of confusing, but that person's turning right too. We're all turning right. Well, yeah. That's okay. Thank you. <clears throat> So we're actually at the beginning of Commercial Street. Yeah, so we get to see basically the whole thing. Bonus footage! <laughs> so name off all of the... Oh, there's that mural. You did. Yes. Yeah, that's a cute one to take a picture by. Mm -hmm. So they have this place, I don't really know how you pronounce it. Pack Cars Bazaar? They have like mid-century modern. I looked it up one time. I don't Pack Cars! I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's kind of a cool place if you're into mid-century style. Candy baking. That's a photographer. Okay. Um, this was a like firehouse. Yes. But now it's a wedding venue. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I've been to a wedding there. It was really neat. Artisan's and oven. Then you have Mrs. Gilmore's tea room. Tea shape. Which is a good like lunch place. Especially for those ladies. Savoy is another wedding venue. It's Savoy. I thought so. You know what That's ticks me off sad, right? about yeah. coming here yeah. is the parking. Yeah, but it's usually not too bad. It's not as difficult as like downtown, downtown. Well, what's nice is, I mean, Miranda and I were raised in Springfield and you don't have to pay for parking. They have a new roller skating. Did you hear me? Yes. Didn't have to pay for parking. I know. I know. Pizza, Pizza house, house right here. Most so downtowns good. you have to pay for parking. So that's a big deal. That's true. Van Gogh's. The thing well, I like I about downtown is all the like the little uh, sculptures and murals mm -hmm. that you can find. I know that like over a block you'll find the Ferris Bueller. Missouri Hotel. Yeah, that's um, I hear that's a, historically. I hear a big group is buying it and redoing it all. That's good. Eurasia. I hope they redo all of this. Yeah, Eurasia Coffee. I like Eurasia. Me too. It's one of my fav like favorite ones. Mud House is really good too. It sounds so Eurasia fancy. Is so good. This is all next to uh, the railroad. Mm -hmm. And I think they only have, they only carry freight um, like trains now, but it used to be Freight? Freight? Right? Freight. 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 I know how to pronounce words. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I've heard it, you know, both ways. <laughs> so just, that's what I need to say every time I say Because most of the time I'll read something and I'm like, oh, that's how it sounds. And I'll say it out loud. I literally I always say, I've, I've heard, heard both, both ways. ways. That's his way of saying he doesn't actually know how to pronounce it. <laughs> that's a good way to do that. Well, that's the end. You got a little bit of Commercial Street, and you got all of Campbell yeah. up until Commercial. Yeah. See you guys.